nice addition to the museum, all in a day's work. Oh, hi there. I want to talk about a movie called Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Um, it takes place in 1957. Now, the last movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, took place in 1938. Well, World War II now is over, and the Nazis are no longer the problem. The Cold War has begun. And now it's the Soviet Union is the problem. Um, it's a good movie. Um, in, in, the begin, in, in the beginning, it's, it takes place in Nevada, or the first part is in Nevada, and Indiana Jones is held by the Russians. And the commander of the Russians is a woman named uh, Irina Spalko, Spalko, or something like that, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, she needs Indiana Jones to show her where, you know, help them find the, the crystal skull. He gets away, and he eventually meets up with, uh, uh, you know, Marion Ravenwood, his old flame from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And uh, so they go, and they, uh, so anyways, you know, the crystal skull, though, what it is, it's, 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 it's of extraterrestrial origin. It's a, it's a skull, you know, uh, an alien skull made out of crystal. And, uh, Irina Spelka, uh, she's, uh, you know, obsessed with the occult, the paranormal, and she wants that skull. She wants it for its power and wisdom and knowledge. Um, you know, she wants to get that way. And, um, but, but they try to use Indiana Jones to find it and whatnot. And it's a, it's a good film. It's a good action film. The action sequences were good. The special effects was good. The action, acting. Uh, Indiana Jones has still showed that, you know, or Harrison Ford has still showed that he's still Indiana Jones. You know, he, you know, he does he does a good job. He's Indiana Jones. And uh, his punches might be a little bit slower, but hey, as long as he takes care of the bad guys, that's all that matters. And he can still crack a whip pretty good still. You know, i got to say it's kind of neat to see my heroes back on the screen again, you know, months ago with Rambo. You know, and, and it was kind of neat to see that, and, and now um, the new Indiana Jones film, and, um, and it's it's pretty good. Trust me, it's a good movie. You got to see it. Uh, it's a good movie to take with your family, friends, you know, whatever. Memorial Day weekend movie. It's you'll you'll, you'll really like it. And uh, you know, and, and and there's some funny humor in the movie. You know, there are times when people are applauding and cheering and. And you know, laughing. People were having a few laughs. Some of the humor is good, and some of the humor is a bit, you know, too much. You know. But it's still a good film, and I think it's a cross between uh, Temple of Doom and Last Crusade. Not quite the Raiders of the Lost Ark that a lot of people were hoping for, but still, it's up there near there. It's 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 a good indie film, and there's things in the movie that will surprise you. Things that you thought, wow, you know, is it? How could that, is that true? Is that possible? You know, uh, things that you'll you'll discover about Indy and, and Marion, Marion, and uh, so I say go see the film. You'll like it. It's a B plus, thumbs up all the way, and uh, you know, trust me. Well, anyways, I got to be going, and here's my relic of the day.